WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, last day of the week, October the 8th. And we're looking at the Dow unchanged right now, 34,754. You can see this technique that I developed over the years, the high of 35,631 on, on uh, August the 16th, peak E in the Chapman wave methodology, made a little V-shaped pattern, but with a lower high. And they created a, down, a little mini down channel, which I call Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. And the Dow, each time it tried to spike, even yesterday, it went to the little red line there, couldn't get above the green line, stalled at the red line and pulled back. I actually like what's going on here at the moment because I think that that second arch formation is still in, under, underway. I think we've had a rotational correction. When I hear reports, I think there's a lot of nervousness out there. Uh, and uh, so we've taken off all, all the short positions. We have only long positions. We've had two new positions that have done very nicely. Um, I, I think that um, overall, this is the rotational correction is still underway. But as I do my show coming up in the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes' time, you'll see that there are actually many positives. So it'll be surprises to the downside with really bad reports, economic or whatever it is, uh, that really takes drags the market down to retest for the, for the S&P, trading at 4,406 right now, up six points. It hit that trend line, and it's getting close to it today. How it breaks above it, getting to the 4450s is going to be key next week, maybe today, but maybe next week. But certainly the gap support into the 4370, 4365 area is really important to hold. Now, this is going to be very important. Look, the QQQ is struggling right here. It hasn't even gone close to that trend line. In fact, it hasn't gone to the 50-period moving average at 362.75, down a fraction. Got to watch this one closely because I still believe that the big tech are still uh, digesting gains. IWM, Russell 2000, holding okay, not showing really great support. It's at up 25 cents at 223.55. Uh, I, I, I like it in terms of its holding pattern. But look at this, gold had a nice spike to the upside. Cannot keep it, cannot hold it. It's up 14 at 1774. I think the 17, uh, 1788 to 1792 level will be a real test for it. And crude oil is still holding quite well. I'll be back in a moment for the, oh, crude oil is up again. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. It'll be